In this video, I'll show you how to build this beautiful typewriter effect in React.js. As you can see, when I click on start generating, the typewriter effect comes into play and the text starts generating itself one by one. You can provide whatever dummy text and style it however you want as per your preference, but this tutorial will show you exactly how to build the logic behind this feature. Now the styling behind this is very simple and so I won't walk you through it. I have attached the link to the source code in the description below. You can get these styles from there. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, I'll create a folder named text generate within the src folder. The text generate folder will contain three files which are index.js, sample text.js and styles.module.css. The index.js file will contain all the important logic and it will be a functional component named text generate. The sample text.js will export a variable named dummy text that will contain the text we want to apply the typewriter effect on. And the styles.module.css file will contain all the styles. You can get all the styles from the link to the source code present in the description section. Now in the app.js file, I will import text generate and place it in the return statement of the functional component in order to render it. Now finally, I can start writing the logic for the text generate component within the index.js file. Firstly, I will import everything that's necessary, which are some React hooks, the styles.module.css file, and the dummy text from sample text file. Now in the return statement of the functional component, I will add two divs within the parent div. The first div will contain two buttons with an onclick function named handle generate and handle reset respectively. Don't worry, I'll soon create these functions. And the second div will contain the text. But until we haven't clicked on start generating button, the text in the div should say click start generating to see the effect. So for that, I will first create a state up here named text which will be initialized as an empty string. And within the second div, I will add this simple ternary operator condition that says if the text is empty, then display click start generating to see the effect, otherwise display the text itself. After that, I'll create the two button handler functions named handle generate and handle reset. Now before I write the logic for these functions, I will first declare a variable named timer. Now I declare timer because in the handle generate function, the timer will be equal to a set interval which will make sure the text displayed on the screen gets updated and written out one by one after a certain time period. And this timer variable will contain a reference to that set interval which will allow us to clear the interval later on. So in the handle generate function, I will first declare a variable i initialized as minus one. And then I will attach a timer to a set interval with a timer of 20 milliseconds. Remember, set interval calls itself on a loop after every time interval we have set until we clear the time interval. Now within the set interval, i will get incremented first. And then if i becomes equal to the dummy text.length minus 1, then it means the text has been rendered and I can clear the interval. And if i is not equal to dummy text.length minus 1, then I'll simply update the state text by using set text and adding previous characters in text to the current character, which is present in dummy text of i. This should be enough to generate the text with the typewriter effect. So if I click on start generating, you can see the typewriter effect in action. However, there's a small issue here. After the text generation is complete and I click on start generate again, the same text starts to generate again after the old text. But we shouldn't be generating the text again if it has already been generated. So we need to make sure the text doesn't generate again upon clicking start generate if it has already been generated. So for that, I will create another state named started and initialize it as false. Now within the handle generate function, at the beginning, I will write a condition that if started is true, then we will simply return from the function. This will prevent regeneration of the text. And if started is false, then we can set the started state as true. Now moving on to the handle reset function, here I'll simply set the text state as an empty string. I'll clear the interval and I'll also set the started state as false so that upon clicking start generating button, we are able to generate the text again. And lastly, I'll add a use effect and within its cleanup function, I will clear the interval. This will make sure that whenever the component unmounts, the interval is cleared if it hasn't been cleared already. So that's all for this project. You can see if I click on start generating, the text starts to generate. And once it's complete, if I click on start generating again, it won't generate because we already have a generated text. But if I click on reset, then the text resets itself and clicking start generating again will generate the text again and so on. So this is all for the video. If you found it insightful, then don't forget to like and subscribe. And as usual, stay tuned for more.